30 years ago, MS-DOS was one of the most popular platforms for PC gaming, with games such as System Shock, Doom, and Mario is Missing being prevalent on the platform. However, to the average user, MS-DOS is just a command prompt and nothing more. So now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, how do you go about installing CD-ROM drivers to play your favorite games on MS-DOS? Well, installing CD-ROM drivers on MS-DOS is much easier than you might think. Here's how to do just that on a machine with CD-ROM support and MS-DOS 5.0 or newer installed. First, make sure that the machine selected in 86 box is at least a 386 and supports a dual-channel IDE controller, as the specific procedure does not work with SCSI controllers. We'll be using the trusted 486-based Soyo 4SAW2 machine for this video, though older 386 machines such as the <clears throat> Juco AT046DX3, formerly AMI386DX clone, and newer Pentium-based machines will work just fine. For the sake of time, the machine configuration will be listed in the description and on screen right about now. Depending on your machine, you may not need to specify an entry for your CD-ROM drive in your BIOS. If you intend to boot from CD-ROMs on your machine, the Soyo 4SAW2 being a 486-based machine with such a feature, set primary slave or secondary master to auto. Otherwise, you only need to configure your hard drive. And of course, your floppy drives. Installing MS-DOS 5.0 is a fairly straightforward process, although if you install the DOS shell, which is entirely optional, you will want to edit a few more files to get everything to work. MS-DOS 6 versions are not affected as they don't come with the DOS shell pre-installed. Once you go through all your disks and MS-DOS is installed, restart your computer. We are now at the DOS shell in MS-DOS 5.0, but for the sake of consistency, we'll be installing the CD-ROM drivers in the command prompt, so might as well go there. Insert the MS-DOS CD-ROM extensions 2.23 with VIDE CD D floppy disk in your floppy drive, link in description, and then switch to the A drive and type install. You should now be greeted with a dialog box that asks you where you want to install your drivers. Just click OK and let the installer do its thing. Then run the following command to copy a faster and lighter CD-ROM driver to your hard drive. Once that's done, edit the config.sys file to direct ms dot to the new driver. Replace gscdrom.sys with vcdd215.sys and remove the slash v switch at the end of the line and then save and exit. Now, this step is required only if you have the DOS shell enabled at startup. Edit autoexec.bat and you will see that DOS shell runs before the line that starts with LH. This prevents the DOS shell from detecting the CD-ROM drive. To fix this, remove the DOS shell line and place it after the LH line, and then save and exit. Now that we're done, restart your machine. Once we're back at the DOS shell, you should notice a D drive letter at the top of your screen, which means the driver was installed successfully. If you do not have the shell installed or are on a newer version of DOS, you should see the lines MSCDX version 2.23 and Drive D before the command prompt. And now you can play your favorite DOS games. Come on, bro, you're dragging. I'm practically a popsicle, Mario. Are we there yet? But, but wait, wait, it's those stout-hearted pipe fitters from New York. York. This, this is a ray of hope. Of hope.